Hello, my name is Josh and welcome to our growing fields. This is where we grow all of our bare root trees. Around November time, we are able to lift them as the trees become dormant and the leaves fall off. But there's no need for concern. The trees will burst back into life in spring and the leaves will reappear. When the conditions are right, we're able to lift the trees from the field. This depends on if the trees are dormant and if the soil conditions are right, soft enough to dig. But once these two conditions are met, all hands on deck and lifting begins. Once your tree is lifted from the field, it goes back to our nursery and is stored in the cold store, which is essentially a giant fridge. This maintains the dormancy of the tree and keeps it healthy. Once your tree has arrived, you need to check that the soil conditions are correct for planting, ensuring that they're not waterlogged or the ground's frozen solid. If these are both okay, you're good to go. Once your tree has arrived, the first job you need to do is dig a hole. Dig a hole that's approximately the same size as the root ball of the tree. You also can add some root growth. This will help the tree establish better. The next job you need to do is place the tree in a bucket of water. Keep it in the bucket of water for a couple of hours, but no longer. The next step you need to do is to place your tree in the hole. Place your tree in the hole so that ensuring that the graft point is above the soil level. This will stop any infections from getting into your tree. Once you're happy with the placement of the tree, then you can refill the hole with the soil. You can also add some organic matter, such as compost or organic matter out of your compost bin. Once you've got enough in, you can then use your heel to firm the ground around the tree. And finally, water the tree in. The last step to planting your tree is using a tree stake. Using a tree stake will help the tree establish power as it reduces wind rock. Placing the tree stake at an angle towards the prevailing wind will ensure the tree stay stable. Use a figure eight tree tie to ensure that the tree does not rub against the tree stake. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like any more tips on planting, please go to the Primrose blog.